Hi guys! Welcome back again to our YouTube channel, Han and Kai. So today's video, ang pag-uusapan natin is uh, formal obligation or reflectum sa klarum. So that's our topic for today, for our vlog. Dahil uh, so many are asking regarding this info, what are the requirements, um, also where can they get this, this formal obligation, also, some of the uh, viewers or questions is how much is the salary or net monthly net income of the host for they can get this formal obligation. So, these are the usually uh, questions regarding this. <laughs> Even I also provided the vlog already here in our vlog, I just want again to clear this uh, topic. So, so yeah, let's proceed this topic and watch till the end of this vlog so you can have ideas on how to process this formal obligation. So first, ano ba ang isura or what is the looks of this formal obligation? So, yan ang formal obligation natin. So, that is our formal obligation. Yan yung kabuong ang image niya. Kapag nakakuha ka ng formal obligation or reflectong sa klarong in German or in Deutsch. So, first, um, what is formal obligation? So, yeah. Formal obligation is the proof that this document is only needed if the visitor's travel will be sponsored or paid by the host in Germany. So they're the one uh, will get this formal obligation. So who are allowed to get this formal obligation? A German citizen, a non-European national living in Germany with a holder of a permanent residence permit here in Germany. Also possible if you're a worker, then uh, the company residing here as well can provide this formal obligation for you as a applicant. So who are the applicable to get the formal obligation? So first, if you are a family, friends, visitors, plan to visit Germany. So, language visa and marriage visa is the applicable uh, that will, uh, the applicant will get this document. So, what is the responsible of your host that they can be the one to get this formal obligation? They are the one who will responsible you for, you for your safety here in Germany. Um, they are the one that will pay all your costs of subsistence for your visit here in Germany, including also your accommodation and medical care. Also, they are also in charge in your any cost of removal procedures when you visit here, and possible should be the one to send back to the country of the origin by the German authorities. So, are they are the responsible for all your safety and other things, accommodation, living expenses here in Germany. So, what are the requirements? Dito na tayo papasok. What are the requirements of the host for them to provide a formal obligation. So, I will also list here. Number one, passport or housewives of the host. 
living here in Germany. Next, salary statement or three months basically copy that they need to provide as well. Next document that they need to provide is if they don't have a payslip or for example they are self-employed, they need to provide a statement account or savings account. That is, this is the main, uh, sa other viewers or questioners na nagtatanong how much is the net income, they need to provide a 1,200 euro monthly na net in income from your host. So, 1,200 euro net income monthly ang kailangan for you to provide a formal obligation. Also, the additional requirements is the personal details of the applicant that they are sponsoring. Like the name, copy of the passport as well, birthday, nationality, at home address in the other country like Philippines. Yeah, that's the details they need to provide for the personal details of the applicant. How much do you need to pay? So, you need to pay 25 euro for this formal obligation. And additional requirements that you can provide is the met fair track, met fair track, or tenancy agreement, or apartment rental contract. If you are, if your host is rental only, so they also need to provide a rental agreement contract, or apartment rental contract, or in German, met fair track. <laughs> yeah, so tenancy agreement like that. But if you are the owner. Then, of course, ownership ownership of the apartment or ownership copy of the house that your host living when for your accommodation here. So, that's the uh, requirements to be submitted in Auslandi Bihorde. So, before you go to the Auslandi Bihorde, you need to email them or uh, call them that you are requiring, requesting a formal obligation on their city. So, every city here living in Germany, you have Auslandi Bihorde. So, how long you can process this or you, you can receive this document? So, some city is so longer kasi because of the refugees that they sent. So, you can, uh, they can accommodate from, or you can receive this document for 3 to 6 weeks. Mga ganun. Mabilis na yung 2 weeks. So, if you can get this in 2 weeks, then your city is good. So, before us, sa amin, 3 weeks yon na receive namin during pandemic pa yon but now there's no not much na pandemic so possible you can get it early pero some cities are strict that you can get it more than 6 weeks pa nga yung ibang nababasa ko din more than 3 months pa ganun ganun ka tagal makuha nila or ma receive nila sa host nila yung yung formal obligation so it's better if you are requesting this do it early as possible on your target visit here in Germany diba so, for example, you plan to visit in August that you like to visit here. So, dapat uh, April pa lang or March na nakapag-request na yung partner nyo na or host nyo ng formal obligation. So, not only partner but also family and friends, you can request this kind of document for your ap application, for your visa application. So, so, note that the formal obligation or verplect ng sarklarong should not be older than 6 months when you submit it to German Embassy or VFS for your visa application in German Embassy. Also, they need your host to send it to you original and two extra copies. So, proof that uh, this document is really original. So, yun ang main requirements ng visa application mo. Kailangan original siya when you submit it to the VFS Makati or to VFS Cebu or German Embassy. Kailangan original. Pero guys, if you cannot provide your host, so, there's a chance as well, if you cannot provide the form, formal obligation, kasi nga, like what I said, sometimes the other city is really, they took it so long to receive this or to provide this formal obligation like 3 or 6 like that 6 months bago ma-release yung formal obligation 
So it's better if you are rushing to come here in Germany, your host can provide a six months bank statement and certificate from the bank. Kailangan naka-certified siya from the bank. If if your host cannot provide a formal obligation, but they still sponsoring your trip here, so they need to provide a bank statement or bank certificate that they can prove that uh, they have budget or allowance or enough funds for you to stay here in Germany. Diba? So, you have the option to provide a formal obligation or bank statement from your sponsor or from your host. Kailangan guys, ano, from the bank talaga, certified from the bank. Hindi siya pwede na printed lang. Pero, yun nga, mas madali kung hirap kayong makahingi ng ng formal obligation, yun, bank statement, kung kaya ng partner nyo makahingi dun sa bank nila, here in Germany. Pero kung uh, mas madali para sa inyo makakuha ng formal obligation, then it's better you get a formal obligation. So, yeah. That's how you process or provide a formal obligation. Especially sa mga future applicant who will process their visa application here in Germany. So, how long the host can request for you to stay here in Germany. So, they can request up to 1 days to 90 days. So, it depends how many days. So, but totally, until 90 days or 3 months, you can stay here. Total of 90 days only. So, hopefully guys, this, I, this vlog is nakatulong sa inyo on how to process this and to avoid confusion as well, I this vlog is really helpful to you. So, if you have some questions, just comment down below on our comment section and we will try again to answer your queries. And, if you have a, if you also want to share this, kindly share this vlog to others so they can get ideas as well. So, don't forget to click the notifications bell and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And, hope to see you soon here in Germany. So, yeah. And God bless on your visa application. So, cheers! Music